Kutch show. It's me and Dr. Awab Albi and with us is a famous, famous Kutch guy. Kutch 3? Is it Kutch 3 or Kutch 4? I don't know. Kutch 4, 5, people walk with me. Hey, Naveen Nakhvi is here and we are very glad that she came all the way for this. And, uh, Thanks, is, it's great to be here. Is this the first time you're on this seat? Uh, no, actually, I have been well, in Chile. <laughs> <laughs> for the last three days. Yeah, um, I think without sounding rehearsed. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's been a long time since I've been interviewed, actually, and uh, it's uh, great to be here. I'm, I'm really happy. So you've done so many things. I mean, uh, you've uh, acted and you've been a sculpture host and you've done production as well. And which part do you love the best? What I do right now. That is, Why uh, is that? That's, um, you don't have to act as much. <laughs> <laughs> or you go up and I don't want to say anything about that. Right? Um, you think it's easy to wake up at 4.30 in the morning and pretend to be cheerful. <laughs> like, you know, well, I would imagine it's very hard. Do you really get up at 4.30? Well, I set my alarm for quarter to five and I give myself nine minutes of snooze. So by the way, that timing is impossible for me. <laughs> I mean, we're going to sleep by then. I mean, sure, you getting up, we're going to sleep then. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always miss my show, right? <laughs> but uh, uh, on the show that you do, how do you do it every day? We do this like once every week and a half. It's so hard for us. How do you do it every single day? Well, it's hard. I mean, it's not easy. But the thing is, I mean, I, I have a team, right, which helps, and they're very good. Professional. So, uh, <laughs> 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 no child, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. Um, all kinds of things go wrong on and on live TV. I mean, there's, you, you just can't do anything about it, right? You can't do take, take three. It's all right then and there, and then you just say, "Whoops, you know, it's live. What are you going to do?" And, uh, and, and you get to the office at what time? I'm at the office at six exactly, and um, after that, I get my makeup done. That takes about an hour, and uh, well, yeah, around about an and hour. And you rehearse the just show notes. It's going through who's going to come on the show, etc. Uh, that I know beforehand. I know now what my show is going to be for tomorrow morning. I know, I know. Oh, and you write your own script, right? I write my own script. Script as far as just show or you, you're actually rehearsing the questions out? And so, so. No, I write, I write pretty much the whole thing. But the questions, yeah, a lot of it, I, I choose for it to be, you know, um, just spontaneous. Like yeah. Um, my own curiosity, whatever I might think of at the moment, and papers, referring to the newspapers, I do that a lot, uh, Twitter, so much of that, you know. Um, and How do you think of that? How do you think of including Twitter in the show? Twitter, actually, you know, when the, when the whole Irani thing happened, the elections happened, at that time, I, I saw this and I just thought to myself, this is really incredible, right? And I had registered myself on Twitter, whatever, involved in it, really, created and, um, but then I hadn't gotten back to it, right? Because I had, like everybody else, I was like, what is this? Okay, you know, kind of being in a, in a just room a by yourself and just hearing your own voice coming back to you and making you uncomfortable. But then, soon other voices <laughs> started coming in. And, and were, now you have a huge following. I mean, I it, but, but the thing is that it's an incredible uh, platform, right? For for somebody like me, for anybody. Well, yeah, for, yeah. for for her, and even even nobody's in society. It's an incredible. I mean, nobody like, like a, a common person. Seriously. a common person it gives a projection of, their and to be able to so easily interact with people like you who have a voice in the media. Right. So I mean, I think that that's what the thing I saw was the minute that you stepped into the Twitter. I mean, you know. Yes, of course. I mean, the glamorous comes along with, with you coming into it, but when people start realizing that they could communicate with you and, and the message goes through, the guest also, that was something that really uh, shook many people up. I mean, I still don't see other show hosts coming on Twitter. Um, and but claiming to. <laughs> <laughs> no names being taken. Yeah, no comments, yeah. Um, but well, that's the first time I was ever has ever anybody else glamorous. Except for himself. He's a bit of a narcissist, right? <laughs> but, <laughs> no, seriously, um, you were in Islamabad? I was, yes. I just heard this morning. How did that go? It was, uh, you know, first of all, if I may, just uh, going to Islamabad itself, I haven't been in a year. 
okay? Because Islamabad is completely transformed from the Islamabad I knew. I lived in Islamabad for four or five years oh, when I was working with NBC. And, you know, it was the kind of place where I go out for a walk in the evening, being a woman and that kind of thing, right? Now, my God. I mean, you can't drive from point A to point B without being checked at least three times. Bottlenecks everywhere because a lot of places they put up barriers and there's nobody at the end of the post, right? So basically the traffic just kind of piles up and then people go, you know, off roading and all of this stuff happens and when you get to the end of it, you just see that there's. Is the checking like severe? Do they like ask for papers or they like check your car or what? They check for ID actually, it's pretty serious. When there is a person at the end of the post, then they check for your Shinafti card or they just. Uh, the checking we have here. No, no, no. Okay. But it's it was very. I think even even in Karachi, I was going to um, you know the post right in front of Karachi Press Club, and they they had barricades on the street, and you only were left with that. I mean, at one side there was two roads, and one side and, and it is an inconvenience, but they're just paranoid. I mean, they don't know where the bomb blasts from happen. Yeah. You can't just stop me. I just have the camera in the back. I work for Geo Direct people. <laughs> Seriously, I've done it like today also. Do you, do you get to pull that off? I don't get to pull that off. I don't do it as much as Poppy does. Yeah, yeah. She's like, wait, wait. Yeah, exactly. And they let us go. So, <laughs> but, yeah. you know, I mean, it's, it's nothing compared to that. Um, so, you met Miss Clinton? I did, yeah. Congratulations. Thank <laughs> you. How did that go? I'm just waiting for the shoe to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to throw the shoe, but you guys didn't throw the shoe. How was the experience in questioning and interviewing? Um, you know, she is, uh, I, I thought that she was, uh, well, you know, they were very tough, uh, it was a tough crowd. And Verbal shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Hard. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, um, I think that she, well, she responded to everything, yes. She was very but she evaded, right? But then she had... But that was to be expected. And also, I mean, there was nothing that was asked of her. There were basically grievances, right? She kept saying, but you've given me billions of dollars. But billions of dollars. She did, she did say that. She also said that, well, if you don't... Don't take, take the money. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't... Like I used to say. You know, <laughs> have, you, have you read the new bill being presented? As a no, it's a Khan. Oh, fail. It's a Khan, Khan hashtag fail. <laughs> Ahmed bill, and it is proposing to send a hundred million uh, crates of mangoes. Real, child, child, and this is Khan. Uh, this is a fake bill. It's it's a fake. Yeah. It was a Khan yeah, Ahmed yeah. bill, and being presented to the Americans, and. It well, that's the problem. I, I think there's, there's <laughs> a bit I mean, even um, the couple things that we were going to discuss today, school security issues. Oh, and, and all that, you know, he came back from school today and all paranoid that my barricades. Yeah, because my kid goes to KGS and they gave us It was some foreign security and scared the crap out of everybody. Like 1,500 parents sitting there. This because he was talking about windows of opportunity, getting inside, and we need about four minutes of security. Yeah, I was wondering when grammar school would do that kind of thing. Now, we'll be doing a vote whether to shut down or end of term or to shut down for two weeks and implement all these barriers. I have to ask you, what, 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 is, what does your kid think about that? Very, I mean, she's not happy at all. Like, you know, why is all this happening? And it's really hard to her because I don't want to tell her that she's under threat. I'm scared. And I don't know what to say, actually. And snipers are there. So when I took her to school in the morning, I was like, those people doing it. I like, they're flying kites. What am I supposed to say? Gun. And when he came back, he was like all paranoid. And he was like, what do we do? Do we send our kids to abroad? Do we, do we not send them? Meeting today, 
contemplating selling their kids abroad. To boarding school. Anywhere but here. Because the scenario presented was so scary that he said that we are going to build rooms inside the school and if they get in, you'll only have five minutes to get the kids into that room and it's going to be a hostage situation. Something that you well, it has to be discussed. I discussed with the parents, but I think they're scaring them even further. There is no choice because, as far as Karachi grammar is goes, direct threat, and that's what yeah. that's, that's definitely on. My they fortified them, fences are high, um, snipers, the road had been blocked off. Um, but you know, I last night he said, I'm not sending my kids to school, I just didn't send them, and that's. I don't know. I will will continue any any fine day when they talk about it. They won't go to school. So I think um, I I basically this is this sounding crude, but this is the latest people more so the Karachi grammar. Okay, boy, wake up, stand up, and stand up for the right. What are they supposed to stand up for? Well, the the जो जो जिनका असर है वो तो दुबई में वैसी रहेगा या ये मूल Which will act as a school, basically. And so you grow up with guns, towns, and constantly. They were talking about they were talking about making it at least to the level of the UK embassy security. It's all that. Africa is in that scenario. You go to school, and huge fences. You don't go in. And here the idea is that that's how they. Actually, the government has given them a mandatory thing that they have to. They have to have ten feet walls. Have barricades at the road. Otherwise, you cannot open. Because the state can't. The state cannot defend its own. So that's the same thing. And you know, the Islamic University when you go there, go there and insist, in case security lapse. I mean, can you imagine protecting you? So, and how can you expect a university to be strict on the issues of more security lapse now? I mean, you know, anyone can. I think it's blaming the wrong people at the wrong time and. So what's going to happen now? How's it going to happen now? The Tariq Taliban has said that they didn't do the Bishawar blast. They said this yesterday. Yeah, there are all kinds of players now, right? Yeah, it's scary, man. And, uh, I mean, what's going to happen? What are you going to do? How are you going to live? Is this what's going to be? Yeah. Well, I, I presume it. But do you see hope? Do you see hope that, I mean, you interact with the You you see hope that anyone is enough to say this is enough enough is enough. Who's listening to them? You know. I mean, who do you talk? To? Something like that. And are they listening? No. Or, or they might share with you, but later on, do they know? That's that's what's not different. Yeah, but and and now what we're hearing is, of course, that there's all these uh, groups as well, like the Punjabi Taliban. And then, of course, there's this growing perception that there are other countries that are behind uh, the attacks. Insurgencies. It's always talking about <laughs> that. <laughs> <Okay. Or more>. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, I'm sure that they're getting arms, ammunition, money. They must be getting it from somewhere. It cannot come from all here. So, okay. blocking off Afghanistan. Apparently, blocking off Afghanistan. Of the supply chain from Pakistan, who's getting? How are the funds? Or the funds or the ammunition coming? Well, you know, I well, mean, you give a lot. Yeah, yeah. This and uh, where is the, the question of Saudi Arabia has been there for the longest time? Who knows? How? Without that, sir, donate. But to where is that? Me donate. But actually, there's a lot of welfare, man. Very good. Uh, do you see those people out in the chadar? And people are constantly. I see that as every time putting in money. Pakistanis are tremendous. Who knows? There's, there's so much of that financial uh, aid in, in Pakistan. Moving, moving on. What else are we going to discuss? Shanaf. Yeah. Shanaf festival. It's 
starting on the 9th of November, two days, 9th, 10th, 11th, actually, three days. I mean, John's photography exhibitions, which are dramas. What do you think they can manage the security? Six months back, they had a call. Yeah, but that was of a different nature. I mean, that Abhi very clear on so many issues. Do you, do you think they. It's free for all. I mean, the tickets, there are no tickets. Well, you can do the security. I, I can agree, but to, to see the whole work out. Yeah, but do you know what happened, right? I was there. You were there. So the thing, apparently, I mean, I didn't know this, but apparently when you have an exhibition of this sort is that they come, these groups come, take a look at the paintings and the pictures and whatever, and they say, okay, and these guys, they say, okay, okay, they will borrow it. Apparently, yeah, they didn't do that. Yeah, but it was an organizational lapse as well. Okay? I mean, because they should. I mean, somebody put that picture up on the wall. Must have seen it, or she must have seen it. Well, you know, I think I think the artist was in a different frame of mind. You know, artist though, you did nudity also can is an interpretive some nature. I mean, you know, you guys have to understand um, that was a comical picture. That was a representation. You mean? Well, no, I was, I think it was wrong place because uh, my post also, was also against it. Because I said, uh, this society is not good enough to be to be humored by Benazir's death so quickly. Uh, it, was, it was very very soon after that. So I think it was Ziyar's death is now, before that you could not rip on that also. I think Vaha is, but now um, they are they're bold enough, I think I support them. It. And it's it's um, going to be a great festival with all the people involved. Shima can is doing that play, uh, Rang Badal Dubai, which is a set on the government and politics and, and stuff. And Citizen Archive Pakistan has they've been documenting this issue, this event. So though, with these situations and these times. I'm going to uh, Yeah. He's going. He's going. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to be there. I hope it doesn't happen like the last time. Well, you have to support these events. That's uh, otherwise, otherwise, if you it's just like I was actually, yeah, I was very dull because I wanted to take her last time as well. You took your daughter to the mountain, yeah? Ah, she went. In fact, she's uh, after me to enroll her in the dance class. Oh, that's so cute. How old is she? She's six. What? Did you watch the idols? Yeah, the language was fine. I mean, it was adult entertainment. Yeah. But she, I mean, she the kids, was, the kids were all into the music. Um, they weren't really even paying attention to what the people were saying. So I start clapping when the songs came. That's so cute. So, so cute. Abba music. So all and, that. and they had the <laughs> play on Sunday. Yeah, the Martin show. The Martin show was a good fun. Still very expensive. I thought it was a good fun. Chicago was like five hundred rupees. This was fifteen. Yeah, that's right. I thought it was a lot more decent than Chicago. Actually, I loved Chicago. About the new eulogy on Facebook. Have you heard about that? He's going to tell us about that. Yeah, that is right. Facebook, ever since they came out with this new thing, the new feed, the live feed, which I hate. You leave on one thing. You leave on one thing, and you see. Seeing those numbers go up 300, 400. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> okay, so now what's going to happen is uh, because uh, new people are being suggested that they reconnect with their friends and people who have passed away. I mean, obviously, it's been there for a while. People have passed away and they still have profiles on Facebook, right? Oh the ghosts. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. Some people have gotten really offended and they've threatened to sue the owners. And now the owners have come out with a eulogy option that if somebody passes away, they'll give the family an option to present them proof of death. And then they're going to make the page into a eulogy and nobody can log in into that profile. But they're going to keep the wall open for like uh, sentiments and stuff. Like that. Oh, wait a second. Is this the same thing about my Facebook friends became a fan of some young woman in, I don't know, 
there you go is that like that sorry that's it and but you were writing things like well i didn't know no, her yeah. i didn't talk to her i kind of saw her but i'm a fan yeah <laughs>
reactionary and they were completely biased and all kinds of things. Yeah, we have some things cheap is because, you know, our broadcast doesn't start with mentioning the color of Salman Khan's underwear. You know. Because Bollywood is big industry and... Uh, you know, it takes a little more tact to be a journalist in Pakistan than to be a Shoya Rai's press really secretary. Do we government. need to go to the Meera story <laughs> then? I, mean, I don't see any difference. But she I, admitted. Oh, whatever. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I was what did she say, by the way? What oh. did she say? No, we're not going there. No, no, okay. yeah. what, what I was actually questioning, remember May 12th, May 12th, the media learned a uh, horrible lesson in how, what not to report. Did they go back on that? Islamic University, the, I mean, I had understood that they would not cover live images of body parts and bleeding. I mean, remember in May 12th, they, they photographed a person dying. So did they go back on that or have they rethought about how to reframe this uh, live coverage? Well, you know, it, as I was saying, during the Islamic University thing, they, they I thought, you know, yeah, there were yeah. some mistakes that were made. But now, with the Peshawar events, I mean, I myself was uh, away from the television the whole day because I was sitting and waiting for uh, Hillary Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I didn't say that. So, um, so I was waiting for Hillary her. School, but, uh, I think so, actually. Yeah. 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 So, but, uh, what I heard was, later on, is that there was very little of that shown. I mean, given the fact that yeah. most of the victims were children in Peshawar. So I think that was a good decision if somebody made it. I think, it's good. I think I think it was good and, and we also the another concern that we had was during the GHQ past, people were saying that people were reporting positions of army positions. I think we have to understand that the they should just shut the mainstream media down. That's what the threat was, I think Jew Which was. I don't think she's gonna <laughs> like to say that. But seriously well, because no, in, in like times like this when there's an maybe, emergency maybe a blanket of if someone goes overboard there should be a license. I'll give your channel credit. Don doesn't engage in these sort of things. Yeah, you know, I, I, I myself was reporting on Manalam, right, mm -hmm. when that happened. And of course, there were, you know, it was a, a, a live operation happening right there. We were showing live pictures. And I, I have to say that, you know, when you're watching it, what you're supposed to do is, I, my job is to give a commentary to what's happening, right? So that you have both sound and you know, picture. Um, so I was doing my live commentary and I saw that there were soldiers at the gate who were crouching and you're in the moment, you're on air, right? And you have to think of words to say. It, and you're right? saying it, right? Then my producer came to me and said, stop saying that they're crouching by the gate. You know, this is an operation and they're going in. This is part of the whole uh, strategy, maneuver. And I immediately realized and then I didn't say it again. And we also stopped saying that we're showing you live pictures and we took the live thing off. So Don News is actually very responsible yeah, that way. Because, right? I mean, the... Going back to the Mira thing and what they did with the camera. He's bringing the Mira thing every time. No, the word, I, I thought what they did with the camera was very unprofessional. Well, when they turned the camera off. She requested they, the camera to be turned yeah, off. Yeah, when, when somebody requests the camera to be turned off, you don't like, you know, go behind their back and, you know, show foot. That's messed up. That's ethical. Yeah. 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 The far far journalists. <laughs> 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 so people, does this really exist? Has anybody ever approached you guys? It's like, you know, here's 100,000 rupees, talk about this. I have not experienced that, but I work for an English language channel. That was a political, politically correct statement that she made. Right? It's actually not. It could get me into trouble. But uh, I mean, anyone, I mean, nobody would. Yeah, I, I did right because the, the main, well, the English language covers a very small section of, of the overall population. The largest section being covered by the Urdu speaking. Um, but I, I, I see you come. Competing with another channels as far as uh, English channels, uh, do you see them coming out? Because you Dawn continues to get better and better. I think Express is going to launch another channel. I don't know. Hey, they already launched. They are already on air. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we're not there. Sorry. Okay, we can never sell the show. Sorry, Lakani. Sorry. I of course could not be happy. Right? <laughs> Express twenty four seven. I don't watch anything except. Morning show, which I is supposed to be. I don't watch anything except for Don. Huh. Well, seriously. Right, same here, same here. I, what I was going to ask you, you're the, well, probably one of the few anchors who are doing this online media coverage, with, engaging with them. You don't see other anchors, so that definitely has a chip on your shoulder that you've done first. You've been the first there. Um, I think anyone else who follows her would be called copycats. <laughs> no, no, inspired. Well, I, I, inspired. She's yeah. just created a category, and anybody can do it. But I don't know if they can do it as well as she does. Is it easy? Well, or or can 
I mean, you're thinking of your show notes, you're thinking of Twitter and how and and, and how do you merge it? Or you just go with the flow. You have a couple of notes coming in. It's 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 not easy, yeah. right? What I do frequently is that I pose the question beforehand, like by eight o'clock, and then a lot of responses come in, and those I can print out then, right? But then when the live tweets come in, then that can be hard because sometimes I mean you don't know what people are going to say, right? And now you've started even asking the guests the questions that we ask on Twitter. That's right. How do they respond? Do they get pissed off sometimes? No, you know, they actually also respond very well. And in fact, you know, a lot of guests now understand what the new media means, right? And they enjoy the fact that they are in direct contact with people, you know, real people. Right. And your producers, when you were doing this in the start, they never had a problem. They they were all really on board with incorporating all this. She's the producer. Are you? She must be. The, the <laughs> most senior person on Dawn, probably. <laughs> no, no. I have. Uh, no, was it tough explaining it to them? That's what I mean. I'm sure once they knew, they were on board totally. But you was know it what? Tough explaining. I I I just started doing it. She's Boston. She's a star, <laughs> man. <laughs> All right. Well, should we call it a day? Good enough. Good enough. All right. Well, thank you for being with us. Today. What fun! I didn't even, you know, mean the time just flew. <laughs> thank you for coming in. Yeah. Thank you. And um, I'm glad you made time for us because uh, we've been honored. Oh, Seriously, yeah. no, I mean, a few months ago I was on your show, and now you're on my show. <laughs> I just had to say that. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really cool of you to be here. Thanks a lot, and uh, everybody, our website. No, no, wait. I want to say something. Yeah. I think it's really great that you're that you're doing this, and you know, I, I watch your show regularly. Oh, right. yeah. I'm a loyalist, and I think it's really wonderful what you're doing. And already you've got a mic, you know, <laughs> which is great. Well, yeah, that was the you investment know. that we had to make. <laughs> but soon it will, this is how it will grow. That's great. Let's hope it grows into something worthwhile. It, it is worthwhile. worthwhile. It is worthwhile. I it think it is. He's me. What's the pesa pig, pesa pig? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't mean that, but I just mean that you know, you have to have a proper audience. Once we get an audience, then maybe you know we can start exploring other angles. I think be happy with you too. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy with pesa pigs. Latebackshow.com, and we're on Twitter at uh, Twitter. Back. Signing out with Naveen Nakhvi, Kasi Kupati and myself. See you next time. Do give us feedback. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we always get it. I mean, <laughs> you know, <that's>